Hey, hello people, and welcome to episode 12 of Begusia, the City of Skylines build guide. Every 10 episodes of my Let's Play, we do a city tour. Unfortunately, I forgot about that, and we're now doing it on episode 12, but the next one will be episode 20. This is just a little recap of what we've built so far. We're going to dive into where we started and then move through the episodes. And just look at a nice recap of what we've managed to create, what still needs doing, and what's going to be coming up in the future. So without further ado... Let's go ahead and dive into where we started this wonderful little city. So this is where we started, right on this island here, perched in the middle of the Begusian River that flows all the way out to sea in that direction and comes from kind of a lake at the bottom here. Doesn't really make sense, but okay. <laughs> uh, so this is where we started. This is the vanilla interchange that the, the map generates with. And then these are the roads where you start building from. And then we started off with a nice little roundabout interchange. Uh, and built off in three separate directions down here, up here, and then over here. Uh, this area over here is now our farm area. And whilst we still need to tidy up some of the polluted buildings, uh, this kind of stuff will be moving over to our new industrial area that's starting to form over here. Um, so we can kind of flesh this place out to not look as toxic. You know, there's obviously a lot of grim looking buildings around here right now, and it's not really what we want this area to look like. So that's something we still need to do. Uh, but this area did start out originally as just a uh, generic zoned industry, but it has since been upgraded to a farm. Uh, and then this road under the main bridge uh, links through into a bunch of crap which needs moving. Uh, over on the other side of the roundabout where we started, we came into our first kind of commercial high street area, which is developing nicely now. And we also placed in our first city park, uh, which is Swatch Park, thanks to Bill and Ted. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we do... Uh, actually have our subscribers and viewers name the parks so you can um, if you have an idea then you know, feel free to drop it in to the comments below uh, after this we expanded a couple of residential squares around the edge of this little uh, town center see this is just kind of generic residential zoning uh, there's nothing too special about this we did create a little bit of kind of you know a nice little feature for our cemetery, that just helps it stand out a little bit amongst all the other square zoning. Um, you know, it's obvious that this thing is something special and just helps kind of bring a little bit more personality to your streets. Uh, back from this park, we then continued up um, and implemented a cycle highway onto the island, which is working quite nicely now. You can see we've got lots of people cycling, and this is going to help keep our roads clear of cars and traffic and just allow everyone to flow around that a little bit easier. And then this high street theme just continues uh, up this fashion as well. You know, there's got a lot more commercial zoning along this main road. Uh, before it actually exits out into kind of what is a renewable green, nice uh, part of the town. It's got botanical gardens and um, all these commercial buildings have the green cities policy on them. Uh, so they're kind of renewable. You get these little cafes forming on the corners, which looks quite nice. Uh, healthy weeds, uh, soy and lentils, all the shops you'd ever need. Uh, and then this just kind of comes around within a square. So you can kind of see how this developed. This is where we built kind of first of all and then extended into this part here. Uh, this was all in the first initial episodes. There'll be a playlist link uh, in the description if you want to go back and catch up. Uh, we are, well now this is episode 12 so you've got a, a fair few hours to catch up on if you'd like. And then we came into our first high school, which is just separated away from the main road with just this little road. And we added in some little details and paths. Again, just to make it stand out and to appear as though it is something different. And there's little spaces like this here that we still need to come in and detail. And we will be doing that eventually. I'll probably do it in an off-camera time lapse. Um, unless you guys want to see these kind of little details that I go and do uh, during my free time. If I want to just come and play some cities, uh, then that's when I choose to do my detailing. Uh, we then also had a bit of an awkward shape to work with in the middle here. So what we did was we just zoned the outsides with commercial. You know, we've got a nice little high street feel uh, along here now. And then in between where we didn't have any zoning squares, we just created kind of like a little wooded park with a few stones, some nice trees, uh, and some paths in and around it. Uh, just to allow people to move uh, between the different streets that a little bit easier. So that turned out really nicely. Uh, and then over here, we've just got some more residential uh, places looking out over the river. You know, this is quite a nice place to live. And obviously, we need to move uh, our water pumps as well. 
as they kind of detract from the overall feel of this area I think. And then heading back towards over here where the cemetery was we rounded off this high street with a roundabout and then put some nice paths and rocks through it and uh, this is looking pretty sweet now you know you've got people using it to actually uh, get onto different sides of the roundabout which is exactly what we wanted it to be used for. Uh, here we've got a sauna and a post office and a high school as well so there's a little bit of a kind of a community forming around here lots of people milling around um, which is really good to see there's probably room for a path through here as well and uh, to join up with this one this is the this is a perfect example for a path so people don't have to follow the pavement and the sidewalks all the way around uh, this little block and then the residential zoning continues along uh, this side of the island as well uh, as we enter the beach uh, i really enjoyed building this we built a really nice kind of nightlife front there's lots of pubs and bars and gyms and hip trendy locations down here i'm um, showing my age a little bit um and then there's basketball courts and volleyball there's skate parks there's marinas and uh we did a really nice detailing session with this restaurant on the pier uh this thing looks really sweet i'm really happy with this um and then you know there's uh, fishing tours and uh, jet ski hire and whatnot so people can enjoy the bay uh, where there's also ferries flowing in and out from uh, so this is our ferry and bus depot here you can see there's a lot of people uh, on coming and going on this bus line as I leave the time passing uh, you see here there's people getting off the boats and coming off and jumping on the buses again uh, so this was a really good idea uh, this place is getting a lot of use let's have a little look how much 221 in the last week which is really good for a city of this size um, and I never really used ferries before so to actually see that working uh, and then they're taking people over to this bit of island here that we'll cover when we get over there momentarily. Uh, back on the opposite side of the bay and the beach we come into our first nature reserve which was an idea from Bill and Ted so thank you very much again my friend for your recommendations. Um, so we had this nice little cliff side here that was kind of left unoccupied uh, by uh, the just the way we built we didn't really want any houses on here. So we built a really cute campsite. This is really the only feature within this uh, National Nature Reserve. Um, but you know, there's a nice little pathway that flows from the gate uh, further up and then up onto a little viewpoint here uh, where we do actually have uh, a telescope here. It's very small, you can barely see it. Uh, but there are some nice castle rooms that spawn in with this map. Uh, and these guys just kind of overlook the bay and the ferries and uh, further beyond. So that's a really nice little feature. Uh, and then this campsite just overlooks the bay perfectly. And it even has its own path down into the beach where there's a couple of kayaks and a little chair and a table maybe where someone can watch their friends kayak uh, in and around the bay and then we also built this kind of man-made landslide that would have happened so there's a bit of a cave here as well uh, which is pretty neat looking uh, and you can imagine you know that this once upon a time was a big intimidating cliff face but uh, wind and water erosion has caused it to slide down over many thousands of years there's been a bit of a landslide here where stuff has come down and buried itself within the sand over many hundreds of years etc as the idea I was going for it turned out pretty well and it's a it's a nice feature as opposed to just kind of having this you know it just gives it a little bit more personality when uh, you're looking at it uh, from this angle I think and that pretty much rounds off the island uh, we also added in a ring road uh, which is getting a lot of use which I'm really happy about so it starts here uh, it comes into a tunnel and then flows through the beach and then all the way around this side and then has various access points back into the island and it does get a fair bit of use he says as he can't find a car on it and um, you do actually see these people using it. so yeah it's really good for garbage trucks to get in and around the city that's really what i was using it for and um, you know these guys don't have to force their way through the traffic and uh residential areas to get to where they need to be uh, they do have uh, an outer ring road and it looks really cool as well um, so yeah that's basically uh, the island which we covered in the first four or five episodes I think before we moved on to our first university of Bagusia so this is the Bagusian University of Technology and it sits right along the river on the opposite side of the island and this place is starting to look really nice now we've got a couple of little park features developing in the middle uh, and we're just about ready to place our police academy which is going to increase our jail and police station efficiency and um, we've got some nice little kind of riverside dormitories uh, that our students can actually reside in and uh, there's a nice bike path that sinks up along the river here as well which we'll show off in a moment 
There's a bit of a rail network also developing alongside this place right now, which is starting to look really sweet. And there's also a, a significant amount of traffic that is backing up at this interchange, which needs to be resolved, <laughs> which is still on my to-do list, I promise. Um, but yeah, this area's looking out really nice now. It'd be good to get it up to level 5 uh, and have a fully fleshed out University of Technology right along the river. Uh, which I think will look really sweet uh, once we've got it all finished off and decorated. And uh, kind of has a nice dominant position along the highway. Uh, and the trains as well once we have passenger... Excuse me, once we have passenger trains. Uh, After we finished off the university, we moved on to our kind of smaller riverside, countryside town. Uh, where there is also farming industry integrated into this area, which you can see on the left. And these guys have a nice little dirt road access to keep them away from the residential and commercial traffic that comes through this area. There's also a police station with a, night part, with a nice part there just on the right edge of your screen that serves this town and then a nice high street that again has the Green City's renewable commercial policy on it. So we're gonna get some nice looking buildings down here. Uh, and then this farm area is looking really sweet and then once we carry on expanding that, uh, that'll also look really good. And then we've also got some nice fencing to block it all off. There's also a little bit more of a high street down here as well with a community school and a post office and some more commercial buildings uh, that arrive into a one-way system that actually feeds our ferry port, uh, which we mentioned earlier. Uh, this is where those ferries actually link up to and you can see all the people waiting there. And they're also served by a bus line that takes them to other parts um, of this side of the river. You can see there's a nice little ferry coming in there now. Uh, then this little park here that's just on the right of your screen right now, this feeds down into a bike path. Uh, which follows the edge of the river, which we did a little bit of detailing with. It still needs refining a little bit. Um, but this bike path actually just feeds down um, all the way alongside the river behind the houses. It's a little bit wonky. It pro probably needs elevating in some places. Uh, but, you know, it's a really nice looking bridge. Uh, where well, we can get it to be a nice looking bridge. Uh, and then this kind of residential area here just feeds back into the university. So we've got a nice little integrated community here. and There's a lot of different ways for people to get around. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. After we finished off our university and Riverside residential area, we moved on to a new town, trying to form a completely new area that's separated by woodland and lots of distance and public transport is needed to get there. And we came across this neat idea of forming a town square around a particular building and we chose the tax office for this. Uh, and then placing some office buildings, which you can see here, which is surrounded by more residential. Uh, there's still a lot of building room over to our right there. There's a lot of empty land we can still fill in. There's also a public library here, which is kind of the focal point of that middle road uh, that kind of bends around the back. That's what that building is from the campus expansion. Uh, there's also a post office in there as well, which is kind of another administrative looking building and really helps kind of flesh out that town square feel. You know, a place where people come to do jobs on a Saturday morning uh, or just meet up with friends in the little cafe uh, outdoor restaurant that we've got there as well uh, with the uh, just behind the tax office with the orange flower beds. There's also a train station in here as well, and we also fleshed out a couple of the vanilla assets by placing the parks and then expanding them with the same type of path and same type of tree uh, to make it feel like it is all one interconnecting town square. And it turned out really nicely. There's also a police station in there as well. After the town square, we moved on to the residential aspects of this part of town and we made a kind of a big park, the focal point. This is still very much a work in progress, as you can tell, it isn't finished. We do have a nice little pond or lake in here now as well, which is looking pretty sweet. And you can see there's just rings and rings of residential street that surround this place and we'll carry on expanding in that fashion. And there's also a little business park that's formulated in the centre here now. These buildings on the left, the slightly taller ones, uh, functions as a business park um, within the residential area so it provides jobs and a bit of economy as well it's going to increase our tax rate and yeah this area is still a work in progress but you can see it coming together now the kind of style that I'm going for uh, this place will look really nice once we get it finished here we can use some fences for detailing the edge of the commercial park and there's also been a fire here as well but uh, something you have to deal with I'm afraid but this area is coming along quite nicely I think so then we moved on to Lake Begusia, which is starting to take shape. Last episode, we kind of redesigned our zoo, which didn't turn out the first time we built it the best I wanted it to be. Uh, but we've now got a nice little zoo on the right here that's still to be developed. Then we have a nice little promenade along the lakefront here of Begusia with a nice plaza as the focal point with some boat rental and a restaurant on the pier. 
And again, some more kind of nightlife buildings that are starting to develop around here now as well. It's looking really good. We also have the traffic park in here as well, which is one of the unique buildings that's going to help draw visitors to the area. There's also a bus line that services there as well. You can see it, the black bus on the promenade right now. Uh, before we're, we're meeting with another kind of uh, business park in the middle, those taller buildings uh, provide us with some jobs and economy in the area. And there's a little bit of a, a high street shopping centre beginning to form with that plaza in the middle of the screen there. Still work to be done with that. Uh, before we move on to our kind of rich, posh housing of the area, these guys have the high-tech housing policy and a couple of other policies that are going to help them level up a little bit faster and better than the rest of the city around them. Um, we've got some nice little designs here with some circles in the middle. There's a couple of paths flowing through. And uh, you know, there's still a little bit of work to be done on this area, uh, but it's not too far off being done, I don't feel. Uh, it's starting to look quite nice. You can see everything's centred around those focal point rocks that have generated in naturally with the map. There's some castle ruins up there as well. So everything's kind of built around that to kind of fit in with it. I feel like we're getting there now as well. We can see this is the redesigned zoo with a nice swamp feel along the lake shore there. That starts to look really nice. And then we also made our own river out into the main river over here, which is looking really sweet now as the walking path and highway flow over it. Then we had our first kind of proper beefed out industry area. This is our woodland farming district. Uh, where we have our uh, generated of woods and crops and no not crops, sorry, this is just like wood and timber. Um, this has direct highway access for kind of obvious reasons, you know, you want this place to have easy access on and off the main transport routes. And we also have uh, a little kind of product production zone within this uh, area as well. These are the buildings on the right of the shop now, these are like the sawmill and the pulp mill. There's a little bit of a graphical glitch there, I don't know what that is, I mentioned it last episode as well. Uh, you know, this place uh, produces kind of plant timber and paper, all the different products that the forest industry does produce. And there's some storage yards here as well. And a nice road infrastructure uh, is actually working quite nicely for this industrial area. Uh, there's a lot of different kind of little roads and cutoffs for different points and whatnot. I'm liking the look of it. Still work to do on it. Still needs a touch more detailing. Uh, but it is starting to come into practice now. And it's looking decent, I think. Then last but certainly not least is our newly planned out high density industrial area that's going to have factories, warehouses, cargo hubs and all different kinds of cool looking buildings in this area as it grows. The uh, cargo airport hub will eventually be here as well but we're a long way from unlocking that yet so I'll have to make sure we save some room for it. Uh, but there's a rail network in here as well, there will be a smaller canal network uh, alongside some of the factories. You can see it was starting to plan out for some zoning. Uh, that's going to slot in here eventually. That'll start to look really good. Uh, there's already cargo train station hubs in right now, but they are turned off because they're not actually functional because we're not connected up to the outer rail yet, so they can't actually accept anything, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, but, you know, we will get there eventually. So there's a nice little road infrastructure here. Uh, I'm liking the way this is looking. Still needs a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of refining, but with the kind of the way that the entry and exit roads stack uh, on top of each other, just gives it that really industrialized feeling and we've got two perfectly symmetrical uh, cargo hubs that are residing uh, in the middle there as well which is starting to look really quite nice some warehouses here as well that are storing different products uh, for our factories to make goods which will be really sweet and yeah everything's starting to come together in this part of town i think still work to do but we are getting there uh, I think the train line and the canal and the road network all tightly packed in really gives it that industrial feel, uh, which is really uh, what I was going for. So yeah, I'm enjoying this one. So guys, that is going to do it for today's City Tour. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we've really come quite far in this series. And for those of you that don't know, in my City's Let's Plays, every 10 episodes we do one of these things, uh, just to kind of recap on what we've built. The next one will be episode 20 and then every 10 episodes after that as well. I'm really enjoying this series and you guys seem to be too. We've gained a lot of subscribers and the views are crazy. Like I'm pretty sure every episode of this build guide is over 100 views now, which is just mind-blowing. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, whatever you're doing. I really do appreciate it, uh, believe me. Uh, we'll leave it with a little pan now. But if you enjoyed the video, a like is appreciated. If not, also leave a dislike as well. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next episode.